Hi, this is Jan kettel Rød, who is going to show how visibility analysis is done in ArcGIS Pro. I'll open here the geoprocessing tools and under the spatial analyze tools, there is a surface uh, folder. And here we find three rather similar tools, ViewShed, ViewShed 2 and Visibility. I will use the visibility tool here, but I think the, the result will be very equal if you have used the ViewShed tool. Now, this is a part of Trondheim, and a hypothetical windmill location is given here, and we want to investigate how this would be visible in the landscape of Bynesa in Trondheim. Now, first, let us take a look at some of the parameters for visibility analysis. Um, I will only use three of them, which is the spot, offset A and offset B. The spot is the elevation height for the technical installation. In this case, we can think of a windmill. And offset A is the added height the construction is having. Now, an offset B is what I often refer to as the eye height. So, um, a person situated in the landscape, the height above the elevation of his or her eyes. Um, the we can also set some, um, some angles here, vertical 1 and vertical 2 but this we will leave as default. And this is a kind of view shed resulting from an outward looking um, situation. We will later make a hemispherical view shed where it is an upward looking uh, situation. Now, then we, before I start this tool, let us have a look at the um, one of the input features, the output table here, because I made some preparation here. So the spot, offset A and offset B, are already given these parameters in the output table. This needs to be given as um, a field with uh, capital letters and the numbers here referring to. I usually put 1.6 as uh, eye height because that's, well, if an average person is 1 meter 70 centimeters, this is about the eye height. Now, we don't need to have this in the attribute table, but we will notice that when we have them, they will pop up automatically. Now I have here both a digital surface model and a digital elevation model, both of one meter resolution. And I prefer using a digital surface model to have all the blocking elements of forest and build, build existing buildings to be blocking this the site of the windmill. Now as input point or polyline observer feature, I choose the uh, feature here representing the windmill location and I need to set a name for the output and I just call it the view shed. Now I'll leave this as they are and now let us just take a look at the observer parameters. Here one could have set in the values ourselves but because they are already in the attribute table these will pop up with a values and it, it will use the values in, in these uh, predefined uh, fields. I click run and the tool will start executing. And it's finished and the result is then added to the map.